What's up gaming heroes, my name is Erosium and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up Bartender 4, the awesome add-on which basically allows you to completely customize all of your action bars across the board. It's so helpful for keybinding because it's so simple with its effectiveness and you also get to move around the action bars or get rid of action bars or add extra action bars at just a couple clicks of a button. It's not overly complicated and it's the add-on of preference for myself. I have tried to use other similar add-ons such as LVUI and I tried LVUI for literally two months and I just couldn't get to get used to it. It didn't flow the same for me as it does for Bartender 4 and it's just become my preference for add-ons for action bars uh, as an overall. This is just because Bartender 4 doesn't take control of too much of your World of Warcraft experience. With LVUI, you'll press like something like, let's go to quest log, and all this will be look completely different. And you'll have to go into LVUI to try and turn that off, or try and switch things off. And it, it just becomes too cumbersome to deal with, in all honesty. So what I do now, is I just stick to Bartender 4. It's nice and simple and easy to use. And the best bit is, I can literally just save a preset, and when I create a new character, I can just load that preset and everything's in place, ready for me. All the same key bindings, all the same action bars, the whole shebang. All right, now, just before we get into the video, you just need to do one thing, and that is smash that like button. It really, really helps with the YouTube algorithm and makes sure that I can make more of these awesome, awesome videos for you guys to watch. Please make sure you hit that like button, you click subscribe. Let's get into the video. So, first of all, we need to literally load Bartender 4, which is this simple add-on here. Very easy to use. Just click Bartender 4. We are going to reload this add-on, reload UI, and that will load in the add-on. It will recognize that you've got a very basic action bar just down here, and we are going to uh, we're going to edit that all up and make it look fancy. Um, we're going to use Bartender 4 to do absolutely everything here. Now, first of all, I notice my webcam is just hiding the, the action bar slightly, so let's just change that. Okay, and it was that easy. Okay, so let's go to the mini map where you can see just here and right click this where it says Bartender 4. From here, we will be able to see a list of different options here. So this will probably be like that. Just click bars and then it will open up Bartender 4 here, which is all of the options that you need. And in all honesty, this is not very many options. Uh, it's very simple to use, easy, and uh, doesn't take lots and lots of, of testing and to, I'm messing about with to get it going, which is what I quite like. Now, personally, I like to use Bartender 4 in conjunction with another add-on called Sexy Maps. And Sexy Maps basically changes your mini-map icon here, so you can change this to be a square, to be bigger, to be to move it around if you want to, but also Sexy Maps allows you to move the quest objectives bar here, so you can move that across uh, depending on, on what you're after. I will show you that after the video. So first is first, so if you left click Bartender 4, you can see you get a bunch of green bars here. Now, for simplicity's sake, I like to just move out uh, this Blizzard Art Bar because I don't personally use the Blizzard Art Bar. So I right click Bartender 4, I go down to Blizzard Art Bar, and I actually disable that by clicking Enable and making sure that's unticked. So that will disappear now from my view. I don't need that. Another one that I don't actually need is the bag bar here. See this bag bar? It's a bit clumbersome. It's it's not even all the way around. It's got this large bag here and then four smaller bags here. I find it kind of annoying for my OCD. I just get rid of that as well. If I need to open my bags, I press B. I don't really click it personally, but that's entirely up to you and what your preferences are. Now for micro menu, I like to stick that at the bottom left and that's, I, I just like to have that out just in case I forget a keybind for something or I accidentally over keybind something, I can still click it here, no problemo. So I have my micro menu just there. Now, this is where I start to change things a little bit. I have my XP, we just get rid of this box here. I have my XP bar just here right at the bottom and then I like to basically organize things on a numeric value. So my first action bar is always action bar number one. Now some people might want to have like two action bars side by side like that. That's completely up to you guys. I personally like to go for a centralized single uh, action bar setup just stacked on top of one another. 
So from there, you can see that we've got action bar three, four, but we haven't got an action bar two. So I'm going to need to enable action bar two. Enable action bar two. That is done. So where is action bar two? Here it is. And you'll notice it's a different size to action bar one. So we are going to need to change that. That's no problem. It's easy to do. Simply right click bartender four, go to bar one, and you'll see bar one is the, the size that I quite like. So I just have to look here at what we've got in terms of settings. Scale is one, padding is six. Let's change this padding to six here. And that should make it the exact same size. Then simply drag it to the appropriate distance that you want. So for all of my action bars, I actually always go one, two, three, and then uh, I have a couple on the side as well. So we need to change this three because it's a vertical bar and we want to make that a horizontal bar instead which is completely fine. I also noticed the padding is slightly off, so I need to make sure that is a six padding. And rows here, because it is it is basically horizontal, uh, sorry, it is ver vertical and we want to make it horizontal, we need to make the rows down to one, which therefore makes it horizontal, nice and easy to use. See that one, two, three. This makes it super easy for alts. When you are doing keybinds for alt alternate characters, when you have it just simply as one bar one, bar two, bar three, you can simply switch between and have all your keybinds the same. Very easy to use. Now, for bar, bar six, we'll sort that out in just a minute. Pet bar, I always like to have that just above bar three. Vehicle bar, I always have the left side. Extra action bar, I usually have that centralized along with zone ability, which is just straight over it like so. Now, bar four and five are ones I also like to use, and we will show you what I like to do for those right now. So for bar four, I don't like the the, the length ways look, it, the vertical look at all. It's not for me. I also don't need 12 buttons, I find, because these sidebars here tend to be what I use for professions, fancy mounts, toys, pets, etc, etc. So I actually only go for 10 buttons on these side buttons here, on these sidebars just here. And if you're struggling at all to move this around, it's not, it keeps clicking into place. You're getting frustrated with that, you can hold shift and that allows you to actually very delicately place the bar exactly as you like it. Now remember, you only need to do this on one character because when it's done on one character, you can very easily copy this across to another character. So it's very cool like that. Uh, let's make sure the padding is six. Uh, we wanna make sure that everything is easily transferable to each character. So four and five. So uh, five is gonna be two rows, please. And we'd like 10 buttons, not 12. Okie dokie, that's nice and easy. We've placed that. I'm holding shift as I'm placing that so I can make sure we have a nice accurate placing. Okay, now that is all placed. I need to move these uh, these spells here off this bar and stick them into my bar too. So simply lock and drag your abilities down to where you want them. So that is super easy for me. I've already got keybinds here because it's recognized I've got keybinds on my other characters and it's saying, oh, Rosium, do you want us just to use these same uh, keybinds that you've got on these other characters and I'm like yes, please. I would like that. Okay Let's go into the keybind section of this video now with bartender 4 it is so easy to keybind simply right click bartender 4 click keybind and When you are going over your character you basically have to choose whether you want these keybinds to be character specific That means that if it's your warrior you're doing your keybinds for if you click this uh, only your warrior will have these keybinds. If you log onto your, your rogue or your druid or whatever character you, you are playing on offhand, uh, you won't have the same keybinds. Now, what you do need to bear in mind is if you have this unticked, you will find that... Oh, thanks very much for the heals, Mr. Priest. Sorry about that. Now, if you have this unticked, what you will find is all of your characters will share the exact same keybinds. So, as you can see here, I've got F1 through to F5, and then after that, it's G. F, wheel up, wheel down, etc, etc. And all of my characters will have the same thing, same keybinds. And all of my characters will have the same keybinds unless I have this character specific keybinds turned on. Now, to actually keybind, Erosium, stop talking at me and tell me actually what I can keybind. No problemo. So, you see this button here. Let's, let's take F1, for example. I don't want F1 here, I want to put it as something else altogether. So I'm going to press escape, which clears the keybind. 
makes sure that there's no keybind to that specific button. Then to simply add one, I need to hover over that button there and press the button on my keyboard that I want to use for this keybind. Be careful with this because you do have lots of various different keybinds in World of Warcraft that you could accidentally over keybind. So make sure it is something that you don't use already. Okay, so I'm going to press F1 again and you can see F1 gets input there as my keybind. Now this will be the same for all of my characters. So if I suddenly decided to put this as a, I don't know, as T, then all my characters would have this as T or three, all my characters will have it as three. So you've got to be careful with that. Click OK, that is done. Now personally, I've got it showing so it only shows the actual buttons here when I'm moving abilities. I don't like to personally have it showing all the time. And that just reminds me, now we've moved all our abilities from bar six, we can disable that right there. We no longer need it. Very simple. Now, sometimes people like a simple UI they don't like to have anything too complicated so this is what we're going to do right now okay for this section of the video I'm going to be teaching you how you can basically hide certain bars in your action bars here so say for example we've got bar four and five we only want to see these when I need to use them like half stones I don't want to see half stones on my screen until I actually need to click them I find them just annoying to look at and I only want to see my spells to keep it simple same for my mounts I only want to see them when I'm clicking them Okay, so this is how you do that. We recognize bar, bar 4 and bar 5 are the two bars we need to hide. Let's go to bar 4. Click visibility. So you're on general settings here and click visibility. Then click fade out. And it will say how much do you want it to fade out by? Do you want it to be 10%? Do you want it to be hunt like do you want it to be 0%? So basically if it's 0%, it will be completely hidden. And if it's 100%, it won't be hidden at all. You need to make sure you decide on how much you want it to fade out by. So say we went for 50%, close, lock. You can see it, it's faded out by 50%. So it's, it's harder to see, but not impossible to see at the same time. Now, I quite like going for the 0% look completely, but I mean 10%, 20% isn't bad as well. You can just see it. And when you hover over it, it does appear again, which is quite cool to see. Same for five, we're going to go for probably a 20% a there. I think that's probably a good idea and click fade out to make that work. That way, when we're playing the game, we can't see them until we hover over them and they're nice and easy. Now we've done the actual Bartender 4 setup guide. I want to show you the sexy maps, which is what I use in conjunction with Bartender 4. Let's activate sexy maps. Okay, so we've actually got sexy maps automatically loaded right here. And uh, it's loaded, I think, my default one that I always use across all of my characters because it's nice and simple. It looks really nice. It's a square. You can make it really big if you want to, or you can make it smaller depending on what you are after. Now, I'm simply just going to go to my preset and copy my main character's preset. This will automatically load the preset that I usually use, which is the one I started with already, luckily, which is quite cool. Now, from here... If you simply want to edit what your map looks like or edit, say, this quest bar and move that, it's as easy as right-clicking the mini-map, then clicking the plus sign here next to sexy map, which is basically uh, all of the settings that you can access. From here, you can decide what you want to move. So let's move the quest log here. So I'm going to click this lock movers, which will unlock movers. And this will show basically the things that we can use here to move around so say i want my quest log to be all the way over here i can do that no problemo if i want to just maybe bring it across slightly so i can fit an action bar on the right side here no problem i can do that if i just want to move it all the way across so i have it perfectly in line just there that's completely fine also now armored man mover which is entirely up to you where you really want to put that seat mover i always have that like around here usually um, sometimes I pull it in this uh, this corner over here and just hide it out of the way because it's annoying. But it's entirely up to you where you want to put that. Simply click lock movers and that will lock those back in place. Now with sexy map, I can right click that and it will take me back to the main menu here for settings. And you can basically d dictate the size of the map that you wish to have. Not only that, but you can also choose the actual map style you are having. So if we want, if we're playing a shaman, for example, and we wanted to go for more of a, a shamanistic style, you can actually go for uh, maybe the actual sh shamanism by Jay Goody, which is a, a user who's created their own map. 
and it gives you this kind of cool looking map. Additionally, I quite like the, which one is it here? I quite like Stargate. Stargate's a nice one as well. You get a nice look to it and it looks like a Stargate. That's very cool. Additionally, though, I, I actually find the simple square is the nicest, uh, is, is the nicest simple one to, to get going with. Um, I like the, is it faded square? Is it, There is a faded square one I really like. But either way, I can copy everything straight across from my main profile, which is just accept. And then that will just load in automatically. So when I create a new character, to get Bartender 4 and to get my sexy maps loaded, I simply will, let's, let's create a character right now. Okay, so see here, you can see basically I've got the very basics of everything here on my, my game. I don't want to have to go through all the settings because that is, to be honest, just an absolute blag. So I'm going to simply right-click Bartender 4, go down to Profiles, and this automatically recognizes that I've got existing profiles on my account, and it's saying, Erosium, which one do you want to use? I'm going to click Erosium, which is my main character, so I know all my settings are most up-to-date on that character. Click Erosium, and that will automatically load up the bars. Now, because I've not got very much here um, in terms of, of everything put together, it will basically require me to move a couple things around. So say, for example, my pet bar will need to move to here, Extraction bar needs to move to there. Lock and then simply drag things down. Now, I have noticed that my keybinds are wrong on this character. That's fine. We simply need to go to keybinds. So, right click the bartender 4, click keybinds, then untick character specific keybinds. Done. Click OK and very easily all your keybinds are now back to normal. We can therefore untick the bar 6 because we won't need bar 6. And for sexy maps, I don't like the sexy maps. We want it to be our normal one. So we'll copy a profile from Erosium. O okay, accept that. And then that will reload our UI. And hopefully everything will be in place. Our quest objectives, our actual mini map, the whole shebang will look exactly how we like it for all of our characters. So instead of having to go through like a 10, 15, 20 minute uh, setup, you can literally just do this once and then copy it across to all your characters and have your life simple as heck, which is what I like. You know, I don't play World of Warcraft. I have to set up things all the time with LVUI and things like that. I have it to be very simple and uh, that's the way I like it. So there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You can see that the, um, the map is very simple at the top. I don't like this too big because it does get in the way of the debuff which can be frustrating and then you'd have to look at ways to move the debuff i just keep it very simple with what we've got just there all right guys so there you have it you've got a, a very simple action bar setup for you there and uh, i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did just do me a favor and click that like button click subscribe and make sure you leave me a comment in the section below for any future videos you would like to see remember the links for these add-ons are in the description i'm happy to help i will see you next time this is a rosie amount and you have a lovely lovely day